Now, let's look at some real life applications of Copilot. There are a couple of them. And I think the, 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 the thing to mention here is that the best, the best um, outcome you get from Copilot is highly dependent on the prompt that you put in. So I'm going to be showing you some live, some applications, some real life examples that you can immediately start to implement in your workplace. So first, let's look at Copilot in Outlook. What can Copilot do for you in Outlook? What does what do I use Copilot to achieve in Outlook? First of all, I use Copilot to draft my emails. Sometimes you receive an email, you don't really know where to start. You don't really know, you know, maybe because of your mood or something, the tone of your email can give you out. I can tell, I can draft an email and I can tell Copilot to reward that email. I can ask Copilot to make that email sound more formal, to sound more like me. I've even in instances asked Copilot to check the tone of my email. Is it polite? Is it rude? And Copilot comes up with a draft that I can hit send on without feeling guilty. Copilot can also give you suggestions. I said earlier that it can adopt a, a positive tone. It can change the tone of your email. And one other good, um, one other application that I use Copilot for on a daily basis is when I get those very long emails, email threads that have gone on for three months and suddenly someone adds me to say, oh, can you add a comment? And I'm thinking, where do I start from? This email has been going on for months on end. I can ask Copilot to summarize that email for me, bring me up to speed, tell me like the three or four major, major issues that I need to be aware of on that email thread without wasting too much time clicking or scrolling through to the end of the thread. I'm sure many of us have had this situation, you know, at work. 